was just plain miserable. Miserable, life filled with drugs and alcohol. That was a tornado that wrecked every single person's life that was near and dear to me. The folks that did everything they could do to help me and love me and try to help keep me alive, in and out of homeless shelters, kicked out of homeless shelters. Chaos is the best word I could come up with for life before Centerstone. I entered the medical detox program uh, at Centerstone. That was the beginning of my journey. Um, I was kept there five or six days, if I recall correctly. Uh, I needed it really bad. Uh, I needed somewhere to be safe medically because I was in really terrible uh, shape physically. Aside of my financial and legal woes, um, I, I was just sick. Medical staff, I can't say enough about um, how they took care of me in the beginning. Uh, it was touch and go because um, I was in a, a very dangerous withdrawal. They did their job well. And I was a handful at first, but, but they put up with me and, uh, and they helped me. I made a statement on my way out the door the day they discharged me and I said, my sobriety date is August of 20th, 2015. I will never come back here to detox. In fact, the next time y'all see me here, I'm gonna be a chemical dependency tech. As soon as I had one year of sobriety, I came in as a volunteer and I volunteered there every week to actually uh, try to help other people, but it helped treated my own disease as well. But that, that did lead um, to full-time employment with Centerstone as this very same chemical dependency technician that, that, that I longed for and I've been there and I get to offer hope, giving folks a chance to see I could do that. Um, I have my family on my side. They never left me, but I, I pushed them away. Uh, they should never speak to me. They should never ever speak to me again. But I have a fantastic relationship with my family. Um, I'm, allowed at, I'm allowed places. People want me there and they call me and ask me and they trust me, you know. Um, my son is 15. I didn't know where he was. He rarely knew where, I, where his dad was. Um, I pick him up in my nice car that I drive today. You know, um, my ex-wife calls and says, can you go get Luke? I can't, I can't get off work in time. And, and, and sure, those, those were things that never happened before. Things that never happened before. And the best news about it all is that I have a, an amount of happiness that I never had before. And so do my family.